Hey everyone, welcome back to another web hosting video tutorial. Today we're going to take a look at the Google PageSpeed Insights tool. Uh, I will use my channel's website, webhostingforbeginners.net, for this tutorial. Uh, web hosting for the, the website webhostingforbeginners.net is the website where I post the tutorial steps and commands for each and every video that I've done on the channel. Uh, do check out the website, uh, it is a great resource. Uh, I will go through the page speed report for that website and see how we can optimize based on the recommendations by the page speed tool. Uh, we'll also take a look at what are some of the metrics and measurements that are done on a website by that tool and uh, hopefully that will help you out in your uh, in you know in your process of trying to make your website optimized and better for your visitors so without further ado let's take a look Okay, so I'm going to open my browser to the Google Page Speed tool. You can search for it on Google or type in developers.google.com slash speed slash page speed slash insights. Once the page loads, type in the URL for your WordPress website. I will type in https colon slash slash www.webhostingforbeginners.net and click on analyze. Let the tool run and generate a report for you. Once the results are generated, you will see two tabs at the top, one for mobile and the other for desktop. The scores will be different for both. I'm guessing the recommendations will also be different, but we'll take a look at just the mobile results and recommendations in this video as those will likely apply to desktop as well. Let's take a look at the lab data section. I'll try to briefly explain what each of these mean. Now, just to note that for websites built with WordPress, some of these metrics and further down recommendations will not be directly under our control because we use plugins and themes made by others and we have to depend on those developers to ensure they have coded the plugins or themes optimally. So just keep that in mind. First, contentful paint. This is the time when the first text or image is rendered on the page. This measures how long it takes for the browser to render that first piece of content after the user requests the page. Time to interactive. This is the amount of time it takes for the page to become fully interactive to allow the visitor to engage with the website. Having JavaScript files load correctly on the page will be a big part of this as well as making sure those are optimized as well. Speed index, this is the time it takes for the content to be visible to the end user. Total blocking time, this is the time that a page is blocked from user input like mouse clicks, screen taps, keyboard input, things like that. This is again impacted by JavaScript files or other files that are loaded as part of plugins and themes. Largest content full paint, this measures the render time for the largest content block like an image or a text block within the viewport. Cumulative layout shift. This measures unexpected movement of content on your page causing user experience issues for your visitor. Uh, here's a sample of this here that Google provides. And we've all experienced this when content jumps just as the browser loads other components like buttons or menus. And I must agree, it is pretty annoying. Now let's look at opportunities or suggestions as per Google to help improve the overall performance score of the website. Uh, so for my website, it says that serve images in next-gen formats. So since the tool detected that my website was built with WordPress, it has suggested I take a look at uh, a plugin that will convert the images I upload to optimal formats. Image formats like JPEG 2000, JPEG XR, or WebP uh, provide better compression than PNG or JPEG. And so as a result, the uh, web page will load faster and therefore makes your overall website feel faster for the end user. For these next gen formats to be supported under WordPress, you will need a plugin and here are some options. 
Let's move on to the second opportunity, properly size images. So here the suggestion is to ensure that images I use on the website should be uploaded through the media library so that WordPress can generate optimal image sizes and then use those images to uh, insert them into your blog posts or pages. It also suggests avoid using the full size image, which makes sense obviously. Remove unused JavaScript. From a WordPress perspective, this seems to be a little less under our control as I mentioned earlier, since majority of the times it is those plugins and themes that insert JavaScript files and other files. And if those are not coded properly, then likely we will see issues here. PageSpeed is recommending to limit the number of plugins, which I also agree with. Code coverage is another tool that will highlight and identify bad coding issues and identify which plugins might have those issues. I've never used it, but it seems like a promising tool. So maybe I will look at that in another video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Next is eliminate render blocking resources. This is probably another area caused by plugins and themes. However, here it does suggest that there are plugins that will help deliver JS, JavaScript, or CSS files more efficiently by deferring the loading of them. You may want to test first though, because they may break plugin features or theme features. Uh, here they list plugins like Auto Optimize or W3 Total Cache for this. So you may want to try these and see which one works better for you. Next is to minify JavaScript. This is a method to reduce the file sizes sent back to the browser. As a result, your website will load faster. Here are here, they suggest WordPress plugins that can help minify or compress your scripts and files. As you see here, the W3 Total Cache plugin, which we just talked about, is a popular one and can do other optimizations as well. Next is defer on-screen images. This is also called lazy loading of images that do not show initially on the screen or above the fold. And as you scroll down, then those images start to uh, are fetched and start to appear. The ability to defer those will result in faster load times for your visitors. Uh, they suggest this can be done via a plugin. There are several here, so see which one works best for you. So this one on point optimizing images or efficiently encode images, we've already looked at, and the plugin suggested here will help with this. Finally, remove unused CSS. This may, again, not be in our control or in your control. However, however, you can use the code coverage tool to help you identify and see if there are options to remove CSS for themes plugins you are using. This diagnostics area is likely more of the same issues that can be addressed with the items we just talked about. However, the first item seems we should set explicit width and heights on images that will help improve the uh, CLS, the cumulative layout shift metric that we saw earlier, uh, that we talked earlier in the video. So that hopefully shows you how to read through the results and address some of the issues found by the Google uh, PageSpeed Insights tool. I will try to apply some of these and see if those scores improve on my website and may share with you the before and after in a future video. Uh, your website results will be different and may have more areas to address or less areas to address. And if you have done these type of optimizations on your website, please comment down below and share with us how it went. Um, if you haven't done so, please try it out and let me know how it goes. Um, if you have any tips for which plugins work best again, put those down in the comments below. That may help out others. Uh, like the video if you found it useful and share it with others so that they may also benefit. And subscribe to the channel for future notifications for these types of videos. Um, I think I will do another video on the code coverage tool that was mentioned earlier in the video, as well as seeing if these changes have improved the website score. Thanks again for watching and until the next video, take care.